All right, guys, it's not. Some of these would be worth a full point, some of them a half a point. Half a point for our old angles, full point for our newer angles. We only have three. Oh, you know, this is really isn't that hard. This team and this team are supposed to swap. What's so hard about that? You'll manage. We have five papers. You'll manage. Okay. All right. First one. Ready? A central angle is connected to the center. So number two is central. That's plus a half. Okay. Next one. Tan cord. That's made up of a tangent and a cord. This one's the tan cord. Tan cord plus a half. Next one, secant, secant is made up of two secants from the outside going through, outside going through. This is a secant, secant, plus a full credit there. Wait, that gets a full credit because that's a new one. That one you only get from the video, so I know you get it if you got the videos. Tan tan is this one. It's a tangent and a tangent. That's a tan tan. That's plus a half. Inscribed. Inscribed angle is this one. Inscribed. That is plus a half. Next one, chord chord is the first one made up of two chords. That's a chord chord. That is plus one full. And the last one is a tangent. That's tangent. Secant. This is plus a full point. So one point, half, half, full point, full point, half, half. Total of five. Score and return. Okay,
And last couple classes have time to spare. Can we go outside again? Let's see. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yes, yes. The, the, the operative word there, Mr. Field. Okay. We'll see how long it takes. Yeah. What? In your hands. No, you took it. Hey, you guys. Ryan. about, okay, 15 seconds. All righty, guys. Uh, hold up. Seven fingers, please. Hold up. Seven fingers. Say seven angles. Seven. Now go and say four. Now go back and hold up four fingers. Say four equations. Four hold up again. Say seven angles. Four equations. One more time. Seven angles. Four equations. That's what we're doing in the next seven minutes. Ready? Take a look up here, and if you have colors, you'll find them very helpful today. The seven angles, four of them you, uh, three of them you're familiar with, four of them you're not. The first one, at the top, I'd like you to draw yourself a central angle. That is a central angle because it's connected to the center. Central, center. Underline the word central, underline the word same. It says, measure of a central angle to its arc the same. So I'd like you to write angle equals arc. Angle equals arc. That was the very first one you learned. Measure of a central angle to its arc the same. The next one, we will in a moment. The smaller angle of inscribed. Underline the word inscribed. With a different color? Is, uh, yeah, half the arc. Underline the word half. Okay, now draw inscribed. Inscribed. The vertex is on, arms in, hands grab. That's inscribed. Vertex on, arms in, hands grab. Vertex on, arms in, hands grab. Sweep the angle, sweep the arc, and its angle equals half the arc. Angle equals half the arc. Numbers, but does it matter? Um, I will switch colors. Tan cord. Tan cord is this. Draw yourself a tangent and draw yourself a chord. Yes, but I, I just uh, I offset it for a reason. Then. I offset. Yes, it can. Very good. But I offset it for a reason there. It said tan chord angle is the same as the one inscribed. So circle the half and circle inscribed. Tan chord has the same equation. So it's half the arc. But it's a little tricky here. Watch. I'd like you to sweep that angle. Write angle equals. Now, I'd like you to sweep the arc it's facing, which is right here. That angle is sweeping the, the larger right arc, so it's arc over two going that way. It's half the arc it's facing. This arc is half, I mean, this angle is half of this arc. The other way is also true. Okay, so sweep this angle. It is half of that arc. So technically, there's two angles going on there, but they're both half the arc. Yeah, there is a song. Uh, good. Here's an example. For example, if this was, let's say, 200, this would what be back here? 100. Now watch. Circles are 360, so if that's 200 over here, what's this guy going to be? That's 160, which means this back here has to be 80. Oh, looky, looky. Ah! That's an 8. That's one way you can check your work, too. 
All right, I want you to notice, guys. Darken the vertex, darken the vertex, write the word on. Notice the vertex is on the circle. Same position, same equation. That's why we only have four equations. Some of them are duplicated. Same position, same equation. Now we have three angles and only two equations. This is a new one for you guys. Chord, chord. Two chords that do not go through the middle. Two chords that do not go through the middle. Draw them. We're almost done here. Do they have to cross? Yeah, they have to cross. If they don't cross, you'll end up with an inscribed angle. It says a chord, chord angles half the sum, put a plus sign, of the arc. Circle arcs with a squirrel there. It's arcs, plural. The angle here is actually two of them, that and that, which are the same thing. That angle, either one of them, equals one arc plus the other arc. When it says stride, that means straddle over two. It's, it's when your arcs reach out. The ones that straddled. That's what I mean by stride. Arc plus arc over two. Half of the sum of the arc is stride. Now we have four angles, three equations. Four angles, three equations. I told you there'd be a total of how many angles? Four. No, angles. Seven, seven. seven angles, but only how many equations? Four. Four. We already have three equations, so guess what? One more. The last three have the exact same equation. Okay, ready? This one, vertex, out, out, out. Vertex is outside the circle. This is what sets these apart. Vertex is out. So draw three out vertex. Out, out, out. We're almost done. Now, we're going to draw a secant. Secant goes through the circle, two, and it intersects at two points. Also goes through the circle. You can go all the way through with an arrow, but it's the same idea. That's a secant secant right there. Second one is a tangent secant. So you're going to draw a tangent and then a secant. A tangent and a secant. Last one is my personal favorite. It's the tan tan. Tan tan. <laughs> you have two colors. This is really works really well with two colors. Works really well with two colors. For all of these, it's going to be angle equals. So I'm going to sweep the angles in one color. So angle equals. Now, this one says, of the difference, the word difference is a subtraction concept. So, for this one, we are going to do big arc, I'm going to use red, big arc. Sweep the big arc in one color. And then you're going to write big arc, use capital letters, big arc. Not yet the little arc. Just write the big arc. Use capital letters. Make sure it looks physically big. The word itself. Big arc. Big arc. You put B arc. Angle equals arc. A-R-C. Okay. Okay. And it's minus because it's different. The little arc. Use a different color. And then write it also in smaller case letters. Big arc minus little arc. It says multiply by half, so this is all over two. And we are done. We officially have seven angles and only four equations. You will need to memorize this. In fact, if you look in your study guide, 
Flip over to pages two and three. You have a quick reference sheet. You must have this memorized for the test next week. This will be the first thing you see on the test of these two pages. Yes, you will fill it out. This is the first, this is 10% of the test right there. Okay. No, this is 10% of the test. I didn't say it's 10 pages, I just said it's the first two pages. Alright. Okay. Now, repeat after me. Okay, it goes like this. Just, I'm going to say it first. Measure of a central angle to its arc the same. Say it. The smaller angle of inscribed is half the arc its plane. Say it. The smaller angle of inscribed is half the arc its plane. It's right. Third line. If, if, guys, if you, can't, if you can't repeat after me, at least read it, okay, from the paper, out loud. A ten chord angle is the same as the one inscribed. A core chord angle is half the sum of the arcs it strides. Close, close, we're getting there. Okay, this is a tougher one. Secant, secant, tangent, secant, tangent, tan angles are all the difference of their arcs multiplied by half. Ready? Are all the difference of their arcs multiplied by half. We're going to sing one time through, and then I'll give you a quick break. We'll do a, a problem together, and you guys are good to go. Ready? And snap. 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 Uh, we'll, it's okay. Just tap. Just don't clap. Clap gets too loud. I sing. You sing. Goes like so. Measure of a central angle to its arc the same. The smaller angle of inscribed is half the arc it's same. The ten chord angle is the same as the one inscribed. Four chord angles half the sum of the arc it's drive. Secant, secant, tangent, secant, tangent, tan angles are all the difference of their arcs multiplied by half. Okay. okay, now all, all together, hang on, let's get all together, right? One, two, three. Measure of a central angle to its arc the same. The smaller angle of inscribed is half the arc it's plane. A tan chord angle is the same as the one inscribed. A four chord angle is half the sum of the arc it's drive. Secant, secant, tangent, secant, tangent, tan angles are all the difference of their arcs multiplied by half. Okay. Alrighty, guys. You have earned. We'll sing it when we come back. You